Hi children, this is the main English activity for Wednesday the 6th of May. Um, today we're going to, you're going to write a story based on the plans that you made for a narrow escape. When you was looking at those four pictures, you was looking at a predator and a prey. But we're going to tell a story from the prey's point of view, his viewpoint. So we want you to follow features of a personal recount and write story of the narrow escape using adverbials, which you looked at yesterday. And if you're using fronted adverbials, to use commas after them. So, you're going to look at the point of view of the prey. Uh, look at your storyboard from Monday. Uh, imagine that you are the prey being chased by the predator like the mouse. How does he feel? Where were you at the start? What were you doing? What did you see and feel when the predator attacked you? How did you escape? How did you feel afterwards? And then you're going to look at the um, personal recounts. So if I scroll down, this is the recount features. If you can follow those. Um, introduce paragraphing uh, using the first person I, me, we, my in your pronouns it's the past tense because it's already happened um, and using adverbials and adverbs describe in order with the structure who, what, where and when the events describe it in order and then sum up how you felt afterwards the tips Include description of what you thought and how you felt. Very important. And try opening some sentences with a fronted adverbial. And if you do that, remember the comma. Okay. Um, and then there is some ideas for adverbials, fronted adverbials. Uh, remember adverbials tell you more about how, the manner, or where which is the place or when is the time and why the reason. Okay, and there's some good examples there. Fronted adverbials. And then there's a selection of adverbials for you to use in your story. And then you can write it on the lined piece of paper. I look forward to uh, reading some of those. Um, Okay, good luck.